pandemic covid-19 an outbreak of chinese novel coronavirus marks this environment a healing a recovery a rehabilitation a scenario of revival so we will see how the development activities have deteriorated the environment so today's topic for discussion is environment degradation and here by warmly welcome you all in new learning phase of this online pandemic covid-19 online classes so have a look on the issue which we will discuss today this of environmental degradation 7 billion dreams population of 7 billions is running after the same resources which have alternative use their alternative use emerge out with a challenge of optimal utilization of them but innovation invention development living standards rise have just delivered the over utilization or you can say over exploitation of the available resources which marks the environment into crisis और अदरवाइज इन डिग्रेडेशन पर्यावरण हमारे उत्थान हमारी एक अंधाधुन धोड़ संसाधनों का उपभोक्ता होते हुए उसके आने वाले रिवाइवल को ना सोचना पर्यावरण को अपने दिए सारे संसाधन के बदले सिर्फ देना तो डिटोरिएशन एंड दैट डिटोरिएशन मीन्स टू से पर्यावरण को होने वाला नुकसान and we will analyze what are the major causes of environmental degradation today 7 billion population means to say overpopulation because the resources are limited and their uses are unlimited the degradation in india is just a rise of population for environment population explosion in india is second in the world and marks with the word poverty and when you mark the word poverty it leads to over exploitation of resources with low living standards because that poor people will migrate from one place to another otherwise they will use natural capital like forest and forest will be deteriorated by deforestation and that process of cutting down trees reduces the green cover for supply of wood for earning money otherwise agriculture promotion otherwise establishing their huts over there marks the pressure on land which has increased very much due to poverty garibi bharat ki jansankhya ek santulan mein nahi hai dono ek tarah se environment ko degradate kar rahi hain because the surroundings of millions of people add pressure on the hygiene sanitation your clean surroundings the population rise shows you that you are standing head to head and that marks you with the resources and that resources are over utilized air you can say water you can say forest everything is utilized in over utilization you are deteriorating the balance of the equilibrium of your ecosystem ecological balance is disturbed due to over population why it is said that large scale deforestation for making the use of land is related to population explosion aisa kaun sa karan hai ki hum kehte hain ki jansankhya aapki land ke ya forest ke deteriorate hone ka reason hai because your over population rises the demand for food grain for input supply of industry and for the utilization of your chemical resources for the agriculture so this deteriorates the land quality and marks the deforestation for agriculture when you have the over population so you need housing industry your construction work will be there and you need electricity so you need hydro electricity plant or otherwise you need thermal power plants and that marks you construction industrial development also added the pressure on land and that marks the environment with pollution 
construction of river valley projects you needed for irrigation as well this is earth which is bearing the billions of dreams the resources are equally distributed but the overutilized and marks the abundance multiplication of transportation pollution industrialization urbanization rising demands of food grain marks the soil fertility with chemical and pesticides earth its resources its scenic beauty its environment its ecological balance its ecosystem is under the threat of urbanization one word but it is world's biggest suffering tendency of urbanization have gained momentum urbanization mein aapke shahreekaran ke badhave ka karan tha better living standards and lifestyle demands of houses better basic amenities like road construction airports your transportation developments your innovation and inventions in electricity generation marks the other opportunities of employment everything brought the concept of urbanization the migration of rural area come to city and establish their houses in the poor living standards and that marks the outskirts of urbanization urbanization means to say industrialization development employment opportunities in industry marks the high range of pollution by releasing chlorofluorocarbon greenhouse gases and depleted the ozone layer polar ice is melting due to global warming urbanization ek aisi andhadhun shahrikaran ki daud jisme aadhunik bharat aadhunik vishv ka nirman hai that multiplies the number of vehicles which leads to pollution rising temperature that rising temperature marks the presence of polar ice melting leads to tragedies like tropical storms your cyclones your coastal flooding even sometimes leads to drought because the ecological balance of rainfall also get affected about 30% of the planet and the ecosystems they create play an essential role in supporting life on earth But deforestation is clearing Earth's forests on a massive scale, and at the current rate of destruction, the world's rainforests could completely disappear within a hundred years. Why should we care about deforestation? Together, forestry and agriculture are responsible for 24 percent of greenhouse gas emissions, making deforestation a significant contributor to climate change. Deforestation impacts the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere in two ways. First, when trees are felled, they release the carbon they are storing into the atmosphere. Second, trees play a critical role in absorbing the greenhouse gases that fuel global warming. Fewer forests mean larger amounts of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere and increase speed and severity of global warming. 
In addition to helping regulate the Earth's climate, forests provide habitats for over 80% of the plants and animals that live on land. But deforestation destroys these habitats, diminishing biodiversity. Some estimate that four to 6,000 rainforest species go extinct each year. This also affects the more than two billion people who rely on forests as sources of food and shelter. The biggest driver of deforestation is agriculture. Farmers chop down trees in order to plant crops like soybeans, palm trees, and cocoa, or to make room to raise livestock for beef. Logging operations, which provide the world's wood and paper products, also cut countless trees each year. Forests are also destroyed as a result of growing urban sprawl as land is developed for dwellings. The effects of deforestation are grave, but not irreversible. Efforts such as managing forest resources, eliminating clear cutting, and planting new trees to replace those removed are already being made to reduce deforestation's environmental impact on our planet. And while some plant and animal species are gone forever, combating deforestation can help prevent further loss of biodiversity. Better living standards, a ray of hope with the word of urbanization. When we are getting better day by day, so we are getting modern as well. Urbanization has the extension of word modernization. Shehri karan se adhunik karan tak ki shuruvat hai aap ki urbanization to modernization. Every field is transforming with innovation and invention and that innovation and invention leads to the environment degradation. Land majorly used for agriculture marks the presence of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides to meet out the rising demand of overpopulation. Then contributed to pollution low nutrient soil kheti ka adhunik karan chemical fertilizers pesticides insecticides ki madad se crop protection ultimately kya deta hai pollution rising industrialization is another rising industry means the releasing of harmful gases in the air these input supply demand rises so the land resources are utilized for the meeting the demand so ultimate the pressure rise on the environment trade so we are doing international trade airways and waterways are used industrialization is delivering manufacturing process across the world and when you transport them so there is mass pollution by air ports then agriculture modernization insecticides pesticides you mark the water transportation, then oil spills also take place. So from each segment, you take the whole segment of the life of the life. Whether it is on the top of the earth or on the top of the earth. In the water, we all co-present to effect the modernization. Billions of dreams, one earth and no plan for the sustainable development leads to 2.5 million years, the Earth's climate has fluctuated, cycling from ice ages to warmer periods. But in the last century, the planet's temperature has risen unusually fast, about 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists believe it's human activity that's driving the temperatures up, a process known as global warming. Ever since the Industrial Revolution began, Factories, power plants, and eventually cars have burned fossil fuels such as oil and coal, releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases trap heat near the Earth through a naturally occurring process called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect begins with the sun and the energy it radiates to the Earth. The Earth and the atmosphere absorb some of this energy, 
while the rest is radiated back into space. Naturally occurring gases in the atmosphere trap some of this energy and reflect it back, warming the Earth. Scientists now believe that the greenhouse effect is being intensified by the extra greenhouse gases that humans have released. Evidence for global warming includes a recent string of very warm years. Scientists report that 1998 was the warmest year in measured history, with 2005 coming in second. Meanwhile, readings taken from ice cores show that the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide and methane have hit their highest levels in the past 420,000 years. Arctic sea ice is also shrinking. According to NASA studies, the extent of Arctic sea ice has declined about 10% in the last 30 years. As long as industrialized nations consume energy and developing countries increase their fossil fuel consumption, the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will continue to rise. Researchers predict that temperatures will increase about 2 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the century. What's less certain is what rising temperatures mean for the planet. Some climate models predict subtle changes. Others forecast rising sea levels which could flood coastal areas around the world. Weather patterns could change, making hurricanes more frequent. Severe droughts could become more common in warm areas, and species unable to adapt to the changing conditions would face extinction. Although much remains to be learned about global warming, many organizations advocate cutting greenhouse gas emissions to reduce the impact of global warming. Consumers can help by saving energy around the house, switching to compact fluorescent light bulbs, and driving fewer miles in the car each week. These simple changes may help keep the Earth cooler in the future. Resources are limited. The excessive use due to overpopulation, modernization, urbanization leads to renewable and non-renewable resources over exploitation. The abundant use of rising fossil fuels, burning of coal and petroleum leads to the industrial development but at the cost of chlorofluorocarbon release, carbon monoxide rise, global warming and ozone layer depletion. Agriculture modernization, transport Mission in transportation. Everything marks the environment degradation and just major causes are three. Modernization, urbanization and these two connectivity point is just belongs to overpopulation. One earth, consume it with care because your next generation have to take it ahead as your legacy. So thank you for visiting.